three, his second. They're shooting 50% on the perimeter, Australia, 14 of 28. Four and a half minutes to play. China off the back of their timeout, looking to get back within one possession. Guo has really started to step up down the final stretch, as you'd expect from one of their key players in the backcourt. And he blazes to the basket to do his thing again. 14 points for Guo Ailun. McCarran. McVeigh hands it off. Three point shot. Steindl fouled on it by Guchen. He just hit a three. Clinton Steindl from that far side. And Guchen was too concerned by the prospect of him hitting back to back triples. He sends Steindl to the line for three. Just a correction to Guo Ailun's stat line after that last basket. Just 12 points for him rather than 14. But many of those have come in this second half as Steindl misses the first of three. So Zhou Qi has 16 for China. Guo Ailun and Gu Chen each have 12. Australia will be hoping that this is where home court advantage really helps them out down the final stretch now in the final four minutes Steindl recovers from missing the first to hit the second And the third and Australia lead by five again Neither team in foul trouble They can play hard down the stretch with Shu here Chao Rui he struggled after a huge performance in his last appearance against Japan. Into traffic and a sea of green and gold he can't convert. Steindl, quick pass, White, back out, ball movement from the Boomers, far side, doesn't go for McDowell White. Joe Chi grabs yet another rebound, his 15th. China with around three minutes to play, hoping to make it a one-possession game. High pass towards Zhou Chi from Guo and a foul. Only Australia's third. We've seen so many qualities and characteristics from these two teams. Their respective stars and role players over the course of the first 37 minutes of this game, very different characteristics required now for the final three minutes. And it's about who can really do it with the pressure on, with the finish line in sight. With the expectations on their shoulders. Chao Rui. Guo Ailun, he thrives in these kind of situations. Off the crossover, the three, too long. Offensive rebound here for Cho Rui. And a fresh 14 on the shot clock for China as we move into the final three minutes. Step back, corner three. Almost glanced off the glass from Gu Chair. He's hit four threes, but he misses that one. Australia now, with two and a half minutes to play, could make it a three possession lead. That would be huge for them. White wants to take it right at Joe Chi. Twisting and turning. But the defense not biting. And China looking to bite back in transition. Wrestled away by White. And the runway opens up for White to take flight. Jackson White on his debut. Might just have finished China off. They're down by three possessions in the final two minutes as White hits ten points. Chao Rui, they need something, and he can't provide it. And now it's a three-on-two for Australia. In transition, the three doesn't go. China hanging by a thread with 90 seconds to play. 
Guo. Chao Rui. Guo again. Shu for three. Australia have locked it up on the defensive end again. Up by seven. Only 65 seconds to play. A basket here would surely seal the win and keep them perfect. Delavadova back out. Final seconds of the shot clock here. Frolin going to work on Cho Chi. Close, but not close enough. It's now or never for China. Shu needs it and gets it. And China refused to wave the white flag. The 22-year-old keeps them alive. Down by four with 42 to play. Delavadova. White passes out to the press, open three, gets it, McDowell White on his debut, job done surely for the Boomers. Australia back up by seven with 33 seconds to play, timeout China. Turnovers for Dufeng's team have been damaging, but you have to compliment the Australian defence. They've played with real vigour through the vast majority of the 39 and a half minutes. And they've kept up that energy on the offensive end as well to play out of the Chinese press and to keep their composure that time on the perimeter with McDowell White. He gives them a seven-point lead with 33 seconds to play. And a turnover on the inbound from China. Australia are pretty much there. They're just going to take those precious seconds away from their Asian zone rivals. Three-point shot. In the corner, misses for Blatchfield. Australia are set to remain perfect in this campaign and perfect on home court in World Cup qualifying history. China set to taste defeat in these qualifiers for the first time. For only the third time ever, they've won 13 of their previous 15. In the battle of the last two champions of Asia, it's the reigning champions who come out on top on home court as Australia stay perfect in qualifying for the 2023 World Cup. 4 0 at the top of Group B. Already through to the second stage and going there with a perfect record. China lose for the first time and fall to two and one. But we'll try and seal their place in the second stage tomorrow here against Chinese Taipei. The final score, Australia 76, China 69 in Melbourne. This one did not disappoint. Plenty of big moments, big runs.